Yo, what's up, family? I'm sitting on, well, I'm on break, my first break of the day. So I thought I'd go ahead and get started on the little study that I've been trying to come up with to help others know the knowledge of man and the foolishness of man and how God looks at it and the difference between man's knowledge and God's wisdom and knowledge. Um, you know, family, have you ever asked the Lord for wisdom and knowledge when you're when you're praying. Um, King Solomon was noted to be one of the wisest men that ever lived, and the true wisdom that came from Solomon was his prayer to Yahweh, asking for an understanding mind. Solomon asked for knowledge, and God gave it to him. Family, you know, King Solomon also knew the Lord's wisdom was greater than his own. He acknowledged that, which a lot of humans nowadays cannot seem to come to terms with that at all. Um, if you're seeking for discernment and understanding, you know, in an area in your life, I pray that you will surrender it to God and ask him to give you the knowledge that only he can supply. A wisdom not of this world, but of the heavens. And never forget about the story of the tree of knowledge of good and evil family, where God commanded Adam and Eve not to eat from, and they ate the knowledge of the world instead, which brought sin and death into the world at that moment. You can read more about that in Genesis, I believe it's chapter 2. Good knowledge is what God wants us to know, family. Believe and heed it. Evil knowledge is of the world, and that's what Satan wants you to know, believe and heed. It's ultimately your will and your choice. People like me, you can take as being, you know, judgmental or whatever you want to think about us, but we're really trying to wake you up to the truth, the real truth. It didn't just start with Eve's first bite of that apple. Instead, it started with everything the serpent said that Eve decided to believe. There again, it's your decision on what you can believe in life. No, we don't force our beliefs on others. We speak about the truth and either people take heed to it and look into it and research it for themselves or they don't. Remember what the Apostle Paul said, family. I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. That's in Romans 16, 19. Never trust in the knowledge of this fallen world. And Jeremiah 17, 9 tells us clearly to never trust your heart, your own heart, which is terribly deceptive in its own right. I believe God is the source of all true knowledge and wisdom. I believe that human wisdom is futile apart from God. I long for and I always boldly ask God for us to know the knowledge of the gospel. I pray we actively seek to grow wiser family through the Lord of Lords, putting our trust in him always over our own ways and our own understanding. I'm going to read a few scriptures to you guys about um, knowledge of man, and we'll, we'll go over eventually like the foolishness of man. There's a lot of um, scripture. Proverbs, like I said yesterday, is a really good book on wisdom and foolishness, but... Anyway, family, Matthew 12, 33. Either make the tree good and its fruits good, or make the tree bad and its fruits bad, for the tree is known by its fruits. Look at the fruits. Are they ripe or are they rotten? Matthew 7, 15. Beware of false prophets who come in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravishing wolves. I mean, they're everywhere today. There again, that's the knowledge coming from God. 